Have you ever had one of those days? You had a great hiking trip planned, you're all packed up and ready to go, and as soon as you're ready to leave, the phone rings and it's work. Hey, we need you to come in today. Hiking, you can't hike. I don't care if it's your day off. Get in here. So you go in, take care of business, and you're happy to be back. But then you see the time. Is it really that late? Crap. Yes, it is. Guess I'll have to get out another way today. I know. I'll dive into a good read. Hi, guys. Cletus here with Get Out. Thanks for joining me today. I did have to stay in today. But I found one of the best ways to get out, if you have to stay in, is grabbing a good book. And first one I want to tell you about today is A Walk in the Woods by Bill Bryson. This guy is hilarious. In this book, it talks about his account of the Appalachian Trail and how he joined up with one of his old buddies to tackle this 2,000-some mile trail. And his writing style is absolutely hilarious. He'd never really hiked a trail before in his life and he thought his first one should be the Appalachian Trail. So it talks about his uh, ups, his downs, uh, a lot of the struggles that he had had, the people that he encountered along the way, and just how he kind of rediscovered America by hiking the Appalachian Trail. This next book is called On Trails by Robert Moore. And he originally had hiked the Appalachian Trail also but during his hike on the Appalachian Trail, he began to wonder more about the trail that lies beneath your feet. Where did it come from? What started it? Why do some trails last, some trails fade? And through this book, he takes you from anywhere from ant trails to elephant trails to ancient Indian trails and studying their origins, and where they came from. He's got a lot of scientific facts in here. Um, it's a great book at kind of learning how trails got started and how many of the road systems today utilize trails that were originally built by uh, passage from in, uh, Native Americans from one point to another um, and uh, how now they've turned into roads or highways things like that it's a really awesome book in fact it was a New York Times bestseller and uh, it's definitely something worth checking out especially if you like to learn kind of how things came about and again this is called On Trails by Robert Moore and the last book I want to tell you about today is called The Adventurer's Son. And this is a memoir written by Roman Dial, uh, who himself was an avid adventurer. Uh, he's renowned, known for his renowned adventures of ice climbing, mountaineering, rafting, and endurance races. He was also a professor of mathematics, uh, had a PhD from Stanford, uh, this guy uh, has traveled all over the world, and in this book, um, he talks about how his son embarked on a expedition in Costa Rica alone and never returned. And so Roman's going through uh, telling the story of his upbringing, and then he goes into where how he met his wife, how then they had children, and how he liked to bring the the kids on a lot of the adventures that he would go on as well. Um, but then, of course, throughout the book, he talks about his son growing older and the adventures that he'd like to go on on his own. And, of course, eventually, what happens? What happens to him when he gets into Costa Rica? Um, what happened to him? Why hasn't he heard from him since? So it's a very touching book. Um, it talks, again, of just everything that he's going through, he's feeling, um, and course takes it through a lot of Roman's adventures in an early age and then of course his adventure as he goes to Costa Rica to find out what happened to his son great book you'll love it thanks guys for watching today and of course if you would like to to get any of these books for yourself I do have links down below and um, go ahead and click on those and of course being an Amazon affiliate if you do decide to purchase one of these books I would, of course, see just a little bit of a kickback for that. So thanks for watching, guys. Sorry I was unable to get out. For more great biking, hiking, and kayaking videos, please click right down here. And if you haven't already, 
please subscribe to the channel right up here. And there's the cat.